Oder? Questions orales. L'honorable député. The honorable member for Ottawa South. Mr. Speaker, the situation concerning isotopes is urgent every day. 5,000 Canadians and 60,000 Canadi uh, uh, clients, uh, patients worldwide, depend on Chalk River. The minister said that, th that this was an issue of life or death. The prime minister agreed. This was when they were in opposition, saying that this was a threat to human health. When will the production uh, begin again in Chakra River, if indeed it does? The Honourable Minister of Natural Resources. Thank you, Mr. Speaker, and thank you for the question. Mr. Speaker, AECL is informing the public and ourselves on an updated basis as to their inspection of what has happened at Chalk River and what possible repairs may take place there. They're updating us both on their website, they're updating us in, uh, on, daily, on daily reports into us. And it is the same as we reported, as they reported last week, Mr. Speaker, that they expect for at least three months Chalk River will not be in operation. And in the meantime, we are working with our global partners to increase the supply of isotopes. The Honourable Member for Ottawa South. Mr. Speaker, two million procedures in Canada every year rely on medical isotopes, 80% of which come from Chalk River. Dr. Jean-Luc Urbain, President of the Canadian Association of Nuclear Medicine, describes the situation as a real catastrophe. The Prime Minister has no one left to blame. He has no one left to fire. Since the government does not know when its own reactor will be back online, can the Prime Minister tell us when and from where supplies of medical isotopes will be secured? Will every Canadian who needs diagnostic tests and cancer and heart treatments get them, yes or no? The Honourable Minister of Health. Shortages concerning however Canadians can have confidence that this government is taking the short-term measures and looking at long-term solutions. I have been in contact with the provincial and territorial counterparts, as well as the medical community of experts in the field and the natural resources working on the supply issue. I can say that we are also using levers such as the special access program and clinical trials to provide alternatives to Canadians, and I will continue to work with the territories and uh, provinces to address the issue. Thank you. Thank you. Uh, the, Honour, uh, the Honourable Member for Ottawa South. Mr. Speaker, just 18 months ago, the Prime Minister's position was that getting back the reactor online was a matter of life or death. Yep. MDS Nordion states today that the government has, quote, no long-term plan for the supply of medical isotopes. Dr. Christopher O'Brien of the Ontario Association of Nuclear Medicine states, and I quote, there just aren't enough reactors out there that can take the place of Chalk River. Clearly, isotope supply will not meet demand in Canada or elsewhere. If this is a matter of life or death, where will the required isotopes come from? And if there aren't enough, which patients will suffer and who gets to decide? Here. The Honourable Minister of the Natural Resources. Mr. Speaker, we take this matter very seriously. And that's why, Mr. Speaker, Mr. Speaker, regardless of the cat calling from the other side, we think it's very important to communicate this. This is a serious situation, Mr. Speaker, and we have great concern for the health and safety of Canadians. We're working globally with our partners who produce medical isotopes. But as well, Mr. Speaker, we're looking towards the future, recognizing that we need to find that long-term supply. And that's why we called an expert review panel to look at all the options that we have received. And Mr. Speaker, it's a heck of a lot more than what they did in 13 years, which was nothing. The Honourable Member for Halifax.